Once again, I had made the journey to IKEA to purchase another piece of pine furniture. In fact, I bought two of these draw units, each one packed as neat and orderly as I had come to expect. Whatever you think about flat packed furniture, there is nothing quite like opening a box to find the sweet smell of pine resin. Following the instructions, I began assembling the carcass, clipping the plastic drill runners into the pre-drilled holes. As with the bed frame I assembled two years ago, I chose to glue the towels into one half of each joint. This is by no means necessary, it's just something I like to do. This was all straightforward and I used the supplied fixings to hold everything together. My preference is to use power tools where possible, but IKEA do provide a small Allen key in case you don't have your own tools. You can also download the instructions from their website. Thin MDF is supplied to be used as a back panel. I would prefer something more substantial, but that, but this would certainly do for the time being as it would not be seen. IKEA provides panel pins and a guide to help hammer them in safely, but I chose to use small screws so that I could easily remove and replace the panel later if required. These nylon feet will help to protect the floors of your home and the bottom of the timber panels from chipping. In the course of a short evening I had both the carcasses assembled and it was time to then look at the drawers. These drawers are held together with typical knockdown fixings and the instructions are quite clear to follow. As the side pieces are identical, it is quite hard to get things mixed up. IKEA supply these ribbed nylon fittings, almost like nails, that have to be hammered in to hold the back. They can be a bit awkward to install and I would have preferred something else, even wooden dowels, but they are up to the job. MDF is also used for the drawer bottoms. Again I would have preferred something a bit stronger. 
as long as you don't overload these drawers it should be fine. Sometimes these self adhesive labels can be difficult to remove and still leave residue behind. For this I find a product like Goo Gone to be very useful. I probably bought this bottle 10 years ago and it certainly lasted well. Some may prefer to leave the piece unfinished, but I wanted to use a water-based varnish on all surfaces. Whenever you use a water-based finish on timber, you'll find that the first coat causes the grain to raise, and so I found myself sanding back the first coat before applying the second coat and then the third. To stop the drawers from being pulled or falling out, these nylon screws are driven through from the inside and located within the plastic runners. I did find them difficult to drive into the wood and it's also tricky as you have to fit them with the drawer partially inside the carcass. And that was pretty much it. I've been using these drawers for now for a few months and I'm very pleased with them. They're not as deep as my previous tall boy, but that only encourages me to get rid of the clothes I no longer need and to be more minimal. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this to be useful. Please like, share and subscribe for future videos.